Came out to Oak Crown Christian Church today here on the side of Saginaw. They do a food giveaway every Saturday. And I've been looking for uh, old fashioned vintage Christmas ornaments because um, all of mine had been stolen years ago by my ex-wife and uh, I guess she's just got to possess everything that she thought meant anything to me but I came over here today and they gave away a turkey that was nice a lot of nice people always out here let me turn this camera around so you can see some of the other people if I can get her to do it I guess I can't anyways um, so going through the giveaway stuff do you need this? She's over there. She's over there. You need to slow down, Dave. Um, anyways. Uh, anyways. I was uh, looking through the, the free giveaway stuff that people donate back there. And there were so many vintage and antique ornaments. And I got a huge garbage bag full. Which I'm going to do an unbagging video when I get back home but um, it's really an awesome work what they do here and they um, they help a lot of people Old Town Christian Church in Saginaw is a true outreach I think the way Christ meant it to be so I just want to show you a little bit of it and then I'll show you the unbagging video in just a second Well, I'm back home from the church giveaway, and um, this is the bag that I brought home of vintage ornaments and, and such. It, part of it tipped out when I was setting the bag down. I hope nothing got broken, but uh, we're going to take a look at this together. So I'm going to set this up on the tripod, and uh, we'll start looking and see what, uh, what treasures I found there. Okay, I guess we're all set here. Uh, can't see the bag, but I will hold the pieces up for you. First is this box, and it's a box from Bronner's in Frankenwood, but it's not actually Bronner's things in it. Let me hold this up so you can see inside here a little bit. Now, I've been looking for vintage ball ornaments. Now, this one's not real old, but it is vintage, and it says on it, Happy Holidays from Opryland. <clears throat> See, I'm going to set that over there for right now. And then we've got uh, this uh, from 2001. Again, it's not old, but it's a nice little nativity um, ornament. I was looking for the older things, and there are some in here, like this one. Now, this uh, reindeer is uh, from Napco. And it's got the Napco sticker here and then the imprint up here, uh, 1956, and that is really cool and it is in excellent condition for being bounced around in a box at a free giveaway over there. So I'm really pleased with, with finding that piece. Let's see what else we got in here. There's some junk stuff here that we won't even bother with too much. Now here's one. This one, I believe, is from the 1960s. Uh, my dad and mom had ornaments similar to this on our trees when we were growing up as a kid. And so, uh, and that's kind of what I'm looking for. That and older. But, uh, okay, and then there's a box here. It sounds like a bell. Let's see it's, What do we got? Oh, cute. It's not old, but it's a little mouse bell. A little mouse bell. That might be a Christmas gift for somebody. As I don't watch the video and see that I got it at a free giveaway. And here's another one of the uh, nativity ornaments. This one's from 1997. The other one was from 2001. Space Odyssey. A nativity Odyssey. Put that there for a moment. And here's a box. I have no idea what's in it. Let's see have a little plaster type angel and we have a oh this is well this is broken unfortunately but I, I'll still be able to use it but it's a, a vintage um, uh, 
baby Jesus in the manger. And I'm thinking probably 1950s on that. Um, and then down here, we also have a plas hard plastic Mary. I'm assuming she's probably from the 1960s. <laughs> a musical Smurf. Christmas fellow. But I'll put these back in here real quick so that none of the bulbs get broken. And then we'll continue on. It's okay, Shadow. I've got my little black cat Shadow down here with me. And I really am happy with that, that reindeer. That is so, so, so cool. All right. Okay, I had some technical difficulties, but I think we're set to go again. Now the bag I'm going to just rip open because there's stuff really packed in here. And uh, what I've showed you so far, there's been a couple of vintage pieces, but uh, the best I think is yet to come. Now here, okay, here's a box. Now these ornaments, uh, these plastic ones are from the 1960s, I believe, 60s or 70s, but 60s I think. They've got the uh, really Stop it. Shadow stop. They've got that nice look to them. I don't know if you can see the blue coloring, but they're plastic and they definitely look 1960s. I need to clean them up some. But then in here also, and on this one I fix it. Oh, I love this. It's got to be cleaned up. But check that out. Check that out. I love that. That is beautiful absolutely wonderful. I am so pleased with finding that one. And like I said, it needs to be clean. But look here, there's a, if you can see that, there's Santa Claus there. And then over here we've got an elf. And another Santa Claus. It's just beautiful. I would say that's 1950s or 1940s. Then we got a, okay, that's a modern little dingy ding. I'm not going to do a whole lot with that, I don't think. But then there's some, uh, you know, glass ones, this, uh, they're tangled up with other stuff, but this, you know, it's not spectacular. It's, it's pretty. It's not unusual though, or spectacular, but it is probably 1960s, 50s or 1960s. Unfortunately, there's a lot of this more modern stuff mixed in. The styrofoam thing though, actually these are coming into their own as collectibles too. It's got that little beady thing on there. So, but I'm not really interested in them as collectibles. I'm interested in them to use and to keep. This is a beautiful one too. Look at that. Beautiful green and the nice silver flowers like on it. Just, I love that one. That is, that is beautiful too. Absolutely beautiful. I hope it'll stay there. Uh, and then along that same line, I, I don't know how old that one is. I'm thinking it's about the age of the one I just showed you. Beautiful milky white and the gold, sparkly gold on it. Just really lovely. Then I believe this is a homemade one. It's got the pins in it. Uh, I don't know that it'll do anything with that. Here's another, you know, just a, a common one. Um, so I'm going to put these carefully back in here. And then we'll go on to some more treasures in the bag. These two I am just so happy with. They are wonderful pieces. Wonderful. All right, now, <clears throat> here is a big box. Actually, though, I think, look at this one. This one is from, I think, 1960s also. It's pink, it's got like a glittery snow on it. Um, bicycle type ornament. It's the only one in there like that. Um, so it's plastic again, like in 1960s. I'm going to save that big box for just a minute. We're going to look at a tough, the smaller box in here. Let's see what's in here. Oh, just one ornament in here, but that's okay. It's a nice one. Gold with the stars on it. 1960s, I would think. Really pretty that one aside that's all that was in that box but that's okay oh here's another one. Oh, I like that one too again 1950s 1960s silver with the uh, silver uh, 
like tinsel, not tinsel, uh, glitter, <laughs> uh, silver glitter on it. Really pretty ornament. Some really pretty ones in there. Now, the big box. In the big box, I'm happy about because, let, let me tip this up in a minute here to show you that it is a complete nativity, vintage nativity set. I believe these are Italian. Uh, you know, I'm not going to go through and show you all the pieces, but because there's a lot of them. But uh, it is an Italian like plaster set. J Stop it, Shadow. Uh, you know, I like the faces, the details on the face. Baby Jesus. Good girl, Judo. Or Shadow. You're okay. Um, they're really nice pieces. I can see that I have to touch up paint on a few of those. They've probably been bounced around for many years. Um, but that's alright. They'll be easy enough to touch up. Some of them look like they might be from a little bit different set. Um, because of the base, I say that this one has kind of a concave base. And many of them just have the, the flat base. Let me see what else is in here. Oh, here. Oh, this is pretty. Gloria in excess, Excelsius Deo. The angel. I don't see that one a lot. So I like that. Now... We, and then here are some some of these are flocked actually so they're I, I think the flocked ones are older it looks like but I would say that these are all vintage uh, 1950s I, I would say 1950s uh, here's a different kind of uh, sheep it's it's plastic hollow plastic but most of it I'd say 90% of them at least are the plaster type um, and I'm pretty sure it's from Italy so that was a nice set to find and to find at the awesome price of zero dollars. Now, what I'm excited about with this set too is that, is that it came with the actual Okay, just a couple more things here to show you. Oh. Back down here, the pièce de résistance, as they say, was the actual manger scene for all those figures I just showed you. And I think that is so cool. Um, okay, Th This in, its, in and of itself is not vintage, but it'll, you know, the type of figures that I got will fit nicely into that. Then I, there was a box that I thought were Christmas cards. I mean, what would make you think that? But I opened it up, and it's all these different kind of hangers for ornaments. But um, I like them because they're vintage pre-barcode hangers. And then this one really goes back there. So I like the old box. And I'm just noticing that's backward. I wonder why. Anyways, there's that. Those are cool. There's like four boxes of those, bo boxes of those in there, and um, the, the card box itself is vintage too. So that's kind of cool. And then while this is not a Christmas piece, I thought this was really neat and it's heavy. It is a carved agate stone uh, tissue dispenser box. That that baby's heavy. That was that was free over there, and. Uh, I love stone, natural stone, and it says on it, what is this, let's see if we can see it, uh, onyx, onyx stone, hand carved, and I can't see where it was made, very pretty piece of it, and I'm going to use that proudly. And then the only other thing is, I love hats, different kinds of hats and that, and so I picked up a Great Lakes Safety Training Center hat, how's that? that very becoming mm -hmm. not really <laughs> I like it though. and then uh Anna Maria Island from Florida and Florida is like a home away from home to me and been down there for a long time but it was a place that I very much uh, appreciated some through some difficult times in my life and there have been a few of those so let me get back to this hat and 
that's it. Now what I'm going to do is uh, the day after Thanksgiving, or maybe before Thanksgiving yet even, I'm going to set up my Christmas tree. I have a really pretty fiber optic tree that my neighbor and good friend Jean gave to me. You know, and Jean since we've been in, since we were in, kid we were in kindergarten together. And um, <clears throat> so I set that up. I'm going to use some of these decorations that I showed you today. I'll use a few that I've got in my, in my collection from years past. And uh, I'll show you the whole, the whole thing when I get it all set up. Hey, thanks for joining me today. I'm always happy to be able to get together with you guys. I love you all. I appreciate you all more than I can possibly say. And I hope you have an awesome day. God bless you. And again, I love you. Well, I couldn't resist after going to the church today, getting stuff out and starting to decorate some for Christmas. Um, this is the nativity that I found at the church today. I was telling you about earlier. Um, really nice figurines. They're from several different vintage and antique sets. I love the angel there. It's beautiful. And I have to do some retouching on some of the figurines, and I'll do as they're out. There's the precious baby Jesus and his mommy, Mary, and his dad back there, Joseph. And all the worshipers, even the animal worshipers, coming to see them. And that's where my fiber optic tree is going to go. And then over here, this little tree, fiber optic, I got a couple weeks ago at the same church for free. I've got to get a pack of small bulbs uh, to use on that. And I built this scene several years ago, which I really like. It's got vintage lamp, uh, house lamp for the outside, hey shadow, uh, it's kind of a gazebo in there and then the vintage figures that I've found here and there, there's a, hi baby, there's a light up 1950s Santa Claus that I built into a shadow box, and some more 1950s, 1960s items I built into a shadow box, and then this one, sorry about the reflected light, is a larger one with a Again, a 1950s, very stern face Santa Claus, and uh, I love that shadow box. I think I did a really good job on that. Um, let me turn out the light. Oh, and then in this corner, it used to be a place for a phone back in the day. I put the uh, Father Christmas with some vintage amber beads around his hat. Little boy back there with a bunny, and then the uh, reindeer that I showed you on the other video from 1956. Now I'm going to shut off the light so that we can look at the fiber optic tree. And it changes colors nicely. Um, not as beautiful as the one I'm going to put up over here, but it looks nice. And uh, I'm always happy when I can get something for nothing. And then here is the Santa Claus again And I just I just love him. I think he's so cool because he's probably he's about as old as I am. He's about 65 years old Come on June or shadow So I'll, I'll update this as I decorate and let you see it when it's all done I forgot to mention a couple things when I uh, Had this on a moment ago that I want to point out before I forget these uh, are actually two bricks. They're glazed bricks um, with rounded front, they were decorative on whatever structure they were used on. I pulled those out at the Saginaw River. I did, or Gil did, but they make a nice kind of um, front for for many different kinds of scenes. And then, this is not a tablecloth. It is a, a rug. This is from the 1920s, and I pulled it off somebody's trash, <laughs> brought it home, cleaned it, and it's beautiful and it's been Charlie's Charlie Cat's favorite place to lay where I had it upstairs which was right in the center there so that was a nice find I, I think it's really cool and then I didn't have this out when I when I did this before but I love this one too this is another nativity that I did uh, several years ago in a shadow box it's too heavy to hang the shadow box on the wall but the Mary Joseph and the, the wise man in the back the king who I um, like to think of as God watching over his son, uh, their, their vintage. Uh, but the little egg down here, it's uh, 
alabaster, pink alabaster, and inside of it is carved the tiniest nativity scene that I have ever seen anywhere. So, and then a the little marble block. I dug up someplace here inside of it too. So, I really like that one. And I love that little miniature nativity scene in there. So, back at you in a little while, a couple of days, whatever. <laughs> Check it out, Charlie. See, this is Charlie's tree, and he's remembered it last year. <laughs> It's on your tablecloth. Charlie, don't you do that. <laughs> you little snot. <laughs> he was going to mark his territory. <laughs> little brat. I love you. But I love you. Grandpa never get mad at you. <laughs> right on camera too, Charlie. What up with that? The whole world's going to see Charlie Cat try to mark his territory on the tree. <laughs> you silly boy. I love you. Who is that underneath the Christmas tree? Do we have more tobacco? Nope. It's overdrawn. So I, I wanted to finish this. Well, how much? Sixty-five dollars total. Hi, Charlie. Is he boy? He found his tree, Daddy. Uh huh. He loves his tree, don't you? Always did. Always did love your tree. Yeah. There's my baby. I loved it so much he tried to mark it. <laughs> You're the best, Charlie. The very best. That's for sure. He's a daddy boy. All daddy. All daddy. Yeah, whatever.